Let's solve this problem taken from the 22nd Philippine Math Olympiad. Points A, B, C, and D lie on a line L in that order, with A, B equals C, D equals 4, and B, C equals 8. Circles omega 1, omega 2, and omega 3, with diameters A, B, B, C, and C, D respectively, are drawn. A line through A and tangent to omega 3 intersects omega 2 at the two points X and Y. Find the length of X, Y. Alright, the challenge here is to find connections among parts of the figure, okay? But before we find such connections, let's use first the given information to label some of the parts. Now, we know that the diameter of omega 1 is 4, so its radius is 2. Also, the diameter of omega 3 is 4, so its radius is also 2. For omega 2, the given diameter is 8, so its radius is 4. Okay? Now, I'll draw a radius of omega 3 to the point of tangency. Take note, line xy is tangent to omega 3. Okay? So, if I draw a radius of omega 3 to the point of tangency, we will form here a right triangle. Okay? which is a known fact. Okay, again, if there is a line tangent to a circle, and if we draw a radius of that circle to the point of tangency, then the radius and the tangent line are perpendicular at the points of tangency, meaning, meaning uh, you will form a right triangle. Okay, now let's call this point right here V, this one T. So, Vt is also 2 units because it's also a radius. Now, I'll draw a diameter of omega 2 perpendicular to chord xy. Okay, so this one is perpendicular. Now, I'll call this point P, this point Q, this point R, and this point S. Now, let's focus on the diameter QR and chord xy. Since the diameter qr is perpendicular to chord xy, it divides chord xy into two congruent parts, px and py. So the length px is equal to the length py. Okay, now let's call this length a. Okay, now, if we call PS, if we call the length PS B, then PQ is 4 minus B. Because SQ is a radius and its measure is 4 units. Now, SR is also a radius, so this is also 4. Okay, now, observe that in this circle, we can apply the power of a point theorem for two intersecting chords. So, what does the power of a, power of a point theorem for two intersecting chords state? In a circle, if we have two chords, two intersecting chords, say, MT and AH, Suppose they intersect at point P. The power of a point theorem states that PM times PT is equal to PA times PH. Okay? So now let's apply this theorem to omega 2, to the chords of omega 2. Okay. Now we have PX times PY equals PQ times PR. Okay? Now, let's use the representations we've made. PX is A. So, I'll re replace PX with A. PY also with A. Now, PQ 
PQ is 4 minus B. Okay? So, we have 4 minus B. PR is B plus 4. Okay, now let's simplify this equation. So, I, I will not expand 4 minus B times B plus 4. I'll just write it in the form A squared equals 4 minus B times B plus 4 or A equals the positive square root of 4 minus B times B plus 4. Okay? Now, we just need to find the value of B to find A. And twice A is the same as xy. Okay? Now, how do how can we find b? Let's go back to the figure. Observe that triangle APS triangle APS is similar to triangle AVT. Okay? Again, triangle APS is similar to triangle AVT. Now, what's the reason? Because their corresponding angles are congruent. Okay? So, so this angle right here, this one right here, and automatically, this angle, pair of angles right here. Okay? So, triangle APS is similar to triangle AVT. Now, if they are similar, then we can form um, an equation based on the proportion of their corresponding sides. Okay? Now, again, if two triangles are similar, then their corresponding sides are in proportion. So, in other words, we can form the equation AS divided by AT equals PS divided by VT. Okay? Now, let's substitute um, the values here. Now, we know that AS is just the sum of these three numbers right here. Okay? So, that's what? That's 8. 80 is the sum of these numbers right here. So, this one is 8. This one is 6. So, 8 plus 6, that is 14. Now, PS, PS is just B. And VT is 2. Now, we can solve for B. Simplifying, we obtain B equals 16 over 14. Or what? 8 over 7. Now, we can substitute this um, 8 over 7 in this equation right here to find A. Now, let's find A. Now, A is just equal to the square root of 4 minus 8 over 7 times 8 over 7 plus 4. Let's simplify. So, this is 28 over 7 minus 8 over 7 times 8 over 7 plus 28 over 7. Simplifying further, we obtain the square root of 20 over 7 times 36 over 7. Okay? Now, so here we have 20 over 7. So, you have 4 times 5 in the numerator. So, we get the square root of 4. 36 is a perfect square, so we get the square root of 36, that is 6. 
So if you simplify this, um, 7, 7 times 7, that's a perfect square. So if you simplify this one, we have 12 over 7 square root of 5. Okay. Now let's go back to the figure. Take note. XY is just the same as PX plus PY. In other words, A plus A. Okay? So, our final answer is XY equals A plus A or 2A or simply 2 times 12 over 7 square root of 5. Multiplying, we get the final answer, 24 over 7 square root of 5 as the length of xy.